Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I have had my new haircut and you know, I'm absolutely loving shorter sides again. I have to admit, I really, really love the length on top. I'm still growing that out, so I've got a good amount of uh, good amount of length on the hair, and it just feels so much more youthful, so much more easier to manage. And in a way, because I'm going through some things at the moment in regards to my health, and I'm currently actually awaiting an operation very soon, nervous, um, it's just going to be so much more easier to manage um, throughout that sort of time of me not necessarily being able to do it as much as what I would before. And so it's great. You can see my hearing aids. There would have been a time in my life where that would have really bothered me, but now it doesn't at all because it's me. Uh, it is it is part of me. It's taken me a long, long time to get to that stage. But my mum, amazingly, has always said to me that it is part of you and it doesn't change. My mum always says, bless her, the lovely person I am. Or, <laughs> so absolutely melts my heart. My mum's incredible. And, and and she has really got me to where I, where I am in that sort of head sense of sort of being able to accept everything. So it's taken many, many years. And I still have my odd day, but... You know, it's me, and I really, really love it. I love my new style with the line, both sides. I like that swoop going on. But ultimately today, I am talking about a hairstyle which I've got going on now. It is really, really cool in my opinion, and it's got a cool amount of volume. So that is what we are going to be chatting about today. Okay, so if you want to recreate this look, what I have got is I've got hair now on in the front, which is down to probably about my chin length, and in the back, it's about Oh, just my ear here. So we've got a slight graduation down into the front and it's all brushed down with like a centre or a side parting. Ultimately, I'm growing it out a little bit more because I really love those sort of... I had a look on Google at different hairstyles for men and I really, really love that undercut look with the long sort of hair on the top with that bit of a wave, that bit of character in it. So as you'll see from my recent new haircut, I can now get it into like a men's top knot. I don't wear that very often, but it was quite a cool style to sort of do and um, I really, really liked it. And as I say, the, with the shorter sides, I haven't had it for so long where I was trying to grow the sides out. And after um, I had a trim, which was a not so great haircut, I left it for some time and then I had this recent haircut, which I absolutely loved. And it's just made me feel so much more better about myself. And I feel really, really confident. And the sides, I haven't given up. I've tried it. I tried it for about seven months, probably a bit longer than that, actually, maybe even eight or maybe even a bit more. Um, of growing the sides out, but it just does not suit me. I don't feel anyway, but anybody else is doing that, good luck. And um, I'm, I'm sure it suits you more than it did me, but it's good for a change. And you know, I'm really, really loving it. And as I say, it's a cool style on me, I think, and a cool amount of volume. And that's what we're going to be chatting about today. So how did I start? So first of all, to create this hairstyle, you needed the haircut. So I've got that. So it's about a one inch or two. Um, we've got a defined line all the way around. So about from as you can see from about here and I've got it on the opposite side and then all I've, all I've got really is just that line and it's a very blunt line and it's sort of a roundness and it just meets at the back of my neck there so everything is on top is really really long and really really full with a little bit of texture towards the end just so it's not so, almost so it's completely blunt there is a bit of character and a bit of life which is really important still in fine hair after you've got that haircut what you want to then go in i've got fine hair and what i would always suggest when you're going for a vo for uh, uh, teeth back in when you're going for a volumized style and you've got fine hair and i have but i've got quite a lot of it but it can sit quite flat you want to be using a shampoo or a conditioner which is suited for fine or thin hair or even if you've got thinning hair you can still have amazing looking hair whether you're a man or a woman now the shampoo and the conditioner which i'm really loving at the moment and which i've used today is by the organic Organics range, Organics range, excuse me, and that is the biotin and collagen shampoo and conditioner. And this stuff is amazing because ultimately this is one of my, my when I reviewed this actually on my channel, that's probably one of my top reviews, top clip on my channel. And I'm still mesmerized by how many views is actually on there. Um, so that's incredible. But I love that stuff. So the biotin and collagen by Organics uh, shampoo conditioner, ultimately what it does is it adds bulk to fine hair. Now, anybody who has fine hair knows that fine hair doesn't really support itself or it has a really difficult time at supporting itself. So when you've got the fine textured hair, you really need something which is going to work with you, not against you and add bulk and fullness. And this stuff ultimately actually does do that. It really gives a bit more of a structure and a scaffolding in your hair. So then you can go on and style your hair a lot more easier because it supports itself. It has a lot more character. It has texture and it's just ultimately great. So after you've got that, so a style, a perfectly well volumized, cool, awesome looking style always starts when the hair's wet. So you've got that suited for your fine hair, that volumizing, thickening shampoo and conditioner. Fantastic. Then what you want to either go in and do 
is make your mind up whether or not you want to use a root boosting product or if you want to use a dry product. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. Now, very often I use a root uh, root lifting product, which adds thickness to the roots and really just give my hair a little bit more of a lift away from the scalp, having your hair appear thicker and fuller and ultimately helps me style my hair. But today what I've gone for, because I never believe that a style should be at the detriment of the health of the hair. So I have gone in with the Schwarzkopf Keratin Heat Spray, which is a protection of up to 230 degrees. Um, or Celsius, whatever that is, always sounds a bit strange when I look at that number that your hair can even withstand that amount of heat. Um, but this stuff, really, really incredible and looks after the hair awesomely. Um, and I really, really like this. It gives a nice shine to the hair, nice and healthy, um, and it just makes it super, super sleek. But it helps me get volume in the hair as well, but of course protecting the hair. Now, if I'm going to use a root lifting spray, I will still always spritz a little bit of heat protectant through my hair just to keep things well looked after and super healthy. I said if you're going to then use something dry afterwards, we're going we're going to go into that in just a moment. So ultimately, first, I have used the biotin and collagen shampoo and conditioner. That's done out of the way. I've then spritzed some heat protectant through my hair. Fantastic. And then what you want to do is grab a blow dryer with one hand and then a brush. This is my favorite brush here. I have to admit it is a little bit sort of conventional, I know. And very often I use a sort of oblong rectangular brush to get some volume in my hair. But this is absolutely brilliant. This is my favorite. I've had it for a little while and it just works amazingly. So you've got the prongs and then you've got sort of like the bristles, which holds and guides the hair in place and smooths everything down. You've got the prongs, which lift the hair up for volume and texture. So with a blow dryer in one hand and a brush in the other, what you want to go for is if you have like me and you want to style with volume on one side and then swooping off to the other literally do this all throughout your hair pull the brush through through in one hand with a blow dryer and aim for the ceiling when you want volume in your hair don't pull don't sort of pull your hair don't go nasty or anything like that with your hair don't go sort of too much or too abrasive or anything like that just be quite gentle but hold it quite taut there's a difference between holding the hair with the brush taut and going sort of literally pulling it through that's just going to damage the hair and going to go against what you're trying to look after your hair so ultimately with blow dryer one hand sort of twist i was like to twist slightly and then up towards the ceiling because what you're going to do is you're going to get that lift that character in the hair and you're really going to get that fullness so start from the back but of course don't go up to the ceiling at the back because you don't want that sort of mound of hair at the back here unless you're going for that look but you don't want to be so slight lift but then just direct the hair down so with me the blow dryer on one hand it's always just lifting it up and then sort of smoothing it down when you come up closer throughout the front you want to be lifting up to the ceiling more and more as you come to the front you want to really be directing that hair upwards almost in a straight line so then you get that really nice amount of lift and then what i always do is then flip it off to the side but sort of flip it over ever so slightly with a blow dryer on the opposite hand then what i like to do for this style what i've got now and it looks really really cool because i've got short sides now but this product i absolutely love and you're going to think he's a young man why on earth does he want to be using this it's dry shampoo this stuff is your absolute best friend if you have got fine textured hair, whether you're a man or a woman. I was looking for products, as I always do, um, in a uh, in just in normal supermarkets here in my local area. And I looked in the aisle and I came across this. And as soon as I seen the words XXL Volume Spray, I thought, hmm, got to give this a try. This stuff for dry shampoo, I believe it's pronounced, is it Batiste? Batiste? That's it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. I do apologize if I've got that wrong. But this is absolutely brilliant. So this gives instant volume and this is buildable. And it's when I say buildable, if you what I what I tend to do is part my hair after I've dried dried it off and then I spray it throughout my hair. OK, then I sort of massage in the roots so you get that huge volume. And then what I do is I go in and spray a bit more because this stuff you can build up. Now, it does go a little bit sort of I don't want to say powdery. It doesn't go powdery, but it does give the hair a little bit more of a lighter texture. So for me, because I've got grown out highlights, that really does help keep them looking quite fresh and quite nice. But what I like then is it just ultimately transforms your hair from being fine to really full, really thick and supports itself. So ultimately then all you need to do is just grab your styling product. And for me, it's this stuff. Ultimately my favorite sort of styling spray, blasting free spray by got to be um, Schwarzcroft glued. Brilliant. So then what I've done is I have just taken my fingers through my hair off to one side, as you can see, because you can see where my fingers have pulled through my hair. And then what I've done is I've pulled it off on one side, sprayed that to hold it all into one place. And then I officially just moved my fingers through my hair and then sprayed it. And then what I've done is I've given it a last sort of blast through and then I've just sort of smoothed it all into place, used my fingers all the way through my hair. And ultimately I've got a really cool volumized 
look with a cool amount of volume. So I really hope that you may take some tips away from there um, of what we've gone through. But ultimately, I like this. It makes me look really quite fresh, quite healthy, quite... I use that word quite a lot because I never used to use that word cool. And I never really classed myself as a cool person. Um, but this sort of style always makes me feel a little bit more on trend, a little bit more cool, a lot more youthful. So yeah, the power of a hairstyle, hey? Absolutely. So hopefully, as I say, you've taken some tips away from from uh what we've talked about here what i would always say fine hair is yes you would be able to do this without sort of the thickening shampoo and the conditioner and the sort of the thickening spray and all the other sort of weird and wonderful products which we use but it would wouldn't last it would probably stay in place half an hour tops and just flop anybody with fine hair will agree with me on that um so if you're going for a style which has volume in it using the right products nobody ever has to know that you've got fine hair there's nothing wrong with having fine hair there's nothing wrong with having thin hair or even thinning hair it can still look amazing and don't let anybody tell you otherwise because very often we hear so often that the thick hair and i do you know what i really feel for women because if you haven't been born with super thick hair, and let's be honest, not a lot of people have, then it's sort of pushed upon us so much that if you've got anything but, it's not, it's not okay, or it's not sort of, or it's not right, or it's not natural, and you know what, that's just, that's absolutely horrendous, and that's one thing which damn really annoys me in this world, that if something is not sort of how it's supposedly meant to look, like in the media, or in Hollywood, or, or in the stars, whatever you want to whatever however you want to put it if it's not that way then people uh, are sort of made to feel that they're not necessarily right but you know what with thin hair it can look incredible thinning hair can still look incredible both men and women with the hair types like that you can do some incredible styles with for a man for example if you're thinning on top keeping short sides longer length on top fantastic will always be your best friend with women with fine hair, layers can be absolutely amazing. They can also be the detriment of your hair, making it look quite stringy. So be really careful. But with the sort of right know-how, the right styling products, fine or thinning hair or thin hair, all very different, by the way, can look super cool and amazing. I really hope you've enjoyed those tips. I certainly have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, wishing you good health and awesome hair. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.